Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Wednesday the 7th of September 2016 and um, I'm off to go and see Groundhog Day, the musical at the Old Vic Theatre. I actually day seated this morning. I got to the theatre at 7 in the morning which is very early. I don't normally get any theatre that early <laughs> but I knew that it was going to be popular and I was actually like the 7th in the queue so there was like 6 people already in front of me including a western actor which was kind of fun. I'd never seen like an actual actor that I've seen on stage before in a day queue so that was kind of fun to see that obviously they care enough to be they sing as well um but what i really liked about it is that uh we had like, i waited from seven o'clock until eight and just after eight somebody from the theater came out and gave everybody in the queue like a paper a piece of paper with the number in the queue like so i was the sixth person i think i was technically the seventh person but i was the sixth person in the queue because there was two people and they just wanted one in front of me uh, so i was the sixth person and then it meant that we could go wherever we wanted get breakfast whatever i already had my breakfast so i didn't need breakfast but um it meant that we didn't have to like stay there until 10 o'clock so we were free from 8 to 10 to just go and do whatever we want and I thought that was really nice because we already had a paper and we, just, we got back to theatre just like 2 minutes before the show sorry 2 minutes before 10 o'clock 10 o'clock is when the box office opens so as, as long as we were there before 10 we had our cards with us and they would like call out the numbers like they'd be like oh the first person come up now and get their tickets so I thought that was really nice <laughs> um, very, very convenient I think all the theatres should kind of start doing the same but I was actually the last person to be able to get seating tickets uh, for the evening show because there's two, two shows today, two performances, matinee and evening I'm going to see the show with Lisa and she's at work so she could only do the evening show and I got the last two seated tickets for it and they're up in the upper circle as well at uh, the old vicarage I never sat at before but I took them anyway because I was like wow because um, I the think their day seats is just whatever's available, best available and um, because it's the last two weeks of the show now it's pretty much sold out every night, every show, so I was lucky to even get that. And I did ask them, I was like, so what are people behind me going to do? And the guy at the box office said, oh, they're going to have to get some for the matinee if there are any left for that. And there wasn't even that many left for the matinee either. Or they're going to have to get standing tickets. Like, so I was glad that I managed to get seating. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd uh, take you along with me because I like doing theatre vlogs and we'll see how it goes. So guys, I'm joined now by... Hello! Lisa, and I've got loads of, well, two random... <laughs> <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> because there was a lovely lady doing promotions over there and I didn't even meet her, I just walked past her and she was like, it's mayonnaise, it's mayonnaise and I went back and got some. <laughs> Why not? I always need some mayonnaise, mayonnaise in my house. Your favorite thing. And my mum's gonna just like put like bad, bad signs on it, like a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I loved that one that you drew on last time. That's hilarious. Anyway, I've got about an hour until the show starts. Uh, oh, we're gonna... mayonnaise. You can... Yeah! <laughs> gonna... yeah! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put all these in my bag because I use so much mate. Also guys, it's rush hour time in London. I hate it so much. Um, are you gonna be mad? You can manage if I'm walking. No. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Bag full of mayonnaise. Marvellous. Oh, Can we move? Um, so where do you wanna go? <laughs> she got some more. Wait, 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 for yourself, if, that is a lot. That's a lot of mayonnaise. She gave me like five. Do you remember when you do you remember when we said mayo in, in Vienna and that guy lolled at you? Mayo. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I always remember that. Okay. English people don't know how to say mayonnaise. No, no, mayonnaise. <laughs> Guys, we're outside the old big theatre. Theatre. It's beautiful. Is it your first time going inside it? Yes. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, I think I might have seen a show in there years ago. I don't remember what though. Um, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It's very yellow. The sky is beautiful. These are our tickets. We're in the uh, Lillian Bayless circle, which is the top circle. And um, yeah, it's quarter past seven now, and we are going to go in. What are you most? It's very nice. Yeah, the theatre. What? What are you? Because you said it's about like the same director as Pride, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think you are right. Yeah. So that's really awesome. Pride, the film that came out a couple of years ago, we saw it, and that was amazing. And also the music in it's done by Tim Minchin, who's done Matilda, and I am I'm a big fan of his work, his music work. Oh, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm very curious more than anything. Um, see what it's like. I'm so excited. Me so excited. too. <laughs> So Me too, genuinely, yeah. So we went through a phase of getting quiz questions at each other. Hello. Hello. Is that the right place? Yeah, up two levels. Marvellous. Look at the lights. They're nice. Again, they kind of remind me of Westlife lights in uh, 
video of obvious. A couple of rows on the back. Oh, look at the chandelier over there. That's marvelous. That's cool. We are pretty high up. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, why have we stopped? <laughs> Snapchat. I don't know. What's that one? Is that where we're? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Marvelous. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. You okay? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I know, I was like, and then I realised that it's, it's fine. Do you know what? The view's actually decent. I don't know if you can see everything. Like, yeah. We're high up. It's like we're in a hot air balloon. But apart from that, is it really hot, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. okay, sorry. Over there, over the quick end. Yeah. On the same road? Yeah, literally, just at the end. That's hilarious. That's uh, that's uh, Sean. Hello, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Absolutely no idea we're here. I'm messaging Lisa you. Lisa just messaged I'm her. I'm messaging you right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably reading it. And we're Hopefully, flying. that'll be hilarious. That'll be hilarious. If we can get her re his reaction. Oh my God. Do you think he's read it now? Sean's finally noticed. Sean's finally noticed as well. This is hilarious. We've got Tink in the back. Everyone's, Everyone's here. Going What's going on, on Lisa? What is going on? It's the interval. What do you think? Good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, it's it's um it took a while to get into. The first maybe 20 minutes I was like, I don't even understand what's going on. But Maybe I'd say the last 45 minutes I was like, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's definitely it kicks it. It's the slow start of it kicks up. Definitely. The music's really good. The music's like funky. Yeah. The lyrics are funky. Yeah. As in like, they're a bit like quirky. Yeah. If you see it... Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I kind of want to get a program as well. But maybe I'll do it at the end of the show. Um, yeah, it's good. I shall yeah. thank you for being here at the end of the show. It is still the interval. We're just outside the theatre. How beautiful does it look? Well... It's just colourful and magical and uh, there's fairy lights up here as well which needs to uh, resemble yeah. to... Oh, resemble to... I don't know, I like, like, that. I, like... I mean, it doesn't make much sense, but... Thank you, um, to that. just a bit of Disney magic, resemble which is lights. cute. Um, also, I just bumped into Nikki Davis Jones, who used to play Alphabet in Wicked, which is really nice. I hadn't seen her in a while. Lovely. Lovely and oh, we also saw Sean earlier, so we might see him Yay! later. Which is really cool because it's just so random because we saw his Instagram. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, we're here as well. Is it here? Is he here yeah, today yeah. or is it like from a, <laughs> another day he's posted it? Um, but yeah, it's been good. I shall talk to you more about the show. I mean, the show is, we've kind of mentioned it a I've bit. I've enjoyed it, yeah. I think it's been good. I think it's different to what I expected, not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, but it's good. It's, I, it, I didn't know what to expect. No, I didn't either. Uh, I think it's quite cleverly done. Yeah. There's the some way, interesting the choreography as well. It was quite slow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. At the, right at the beginning, the first they have to half an hour tell was the slow. Story, so it's, it's but they, they haven't like repeated things too much. Oh no, no. Fun, like they yeah. shortened it. And, yeah. I mean, it's funny as well, which is funny. It's funny as well, which is funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. I mean, which it's is funny good. Funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just very, very Tim Minchin, I guess. The lyrics are good. Interesting. Yeah. No, I won't. I won't. I won't be mean. The show has just finished, guys. Um, hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so unexpected to see you. Are you very polite? Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I'm alright. Yeah. Yeah. The show has ended. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> My verdict is that I quite liked it. Lisa said she liked it. She said she liked it. It was alright. No, 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 I can see why it's doing so well though. I can see why it's popular because the production value is amazing. I mean, I was talking about it before when I go home, I'm going to get a program so I can like, go over the list of the cast and stuff. Um, you probably can't even hear me. But um, yeah, it was good. Okay, so I am home now and the time is 
20 past 11 at night um just a few more words about the show i don't know how much i managed to say earlier because it was quite loud in there and it was quite overwhelming because we bumped into sean well we didn't actually get to talk to him but sean from shawnee land he's he makes youtube videos as well um it's funny because i've bumped into him i think twice now at shows and stuff um so like we would like on instagram we we're just like checking on instagrams before the show and lisa on lisa's instagram we saw that sean had sean had posted a picture of you know groundhog day and i was like oh my god is he here tonight or is he you know is that from like yesterday and they were like oh my god he's here and like lisa was like messaging like commenting on it and as she was doing that i actually spotted him in the same row as us you would have seen this in the vlog so i was a bit like whoa and then <laughs> we also then my friend ting from the prince edward theater which me and lisa both used to work with her um she messaged me on facebook again this is all the incoming <laughs> saying look to your left and then like behind and I was like what and then it turns out she was there as well because she was doing the lights for the show which is amazing I think I kind of knew that she was there but I completely forgot like it's so weird um but that's amazing that she she works there and it was really good that we kind of chatted to her for a bit after the show um so great to see you Tink um didn't get to see Sean properly but we did wave at him but I'm sure we'll bump into him again at some point and then as I mentioned again briefly earlier I also bumped into Nikki Davis Jones in the interval um who used to play Alphabet in Wicked and she's done a lot of other things um and I hadn't seen her in about a year I don't know eight months and it was just like, like a random I was like oh my god and I was like I saw her and I was like I think that's her and I was like oh my god Nikki and like it was just really nice to see her uh, we had a little, very brief chat and yeah so that's probably why I didn't actually get to talk much about the show itself but um yeah the show was good sorry about the mess by the way here <laughs> the show was good I don't really know what I was expecting about it I think the music was exactly kind of what I thought it would be because it's very Tim Minchin, it really is. Uh, it's very quirky music, uh, quirky lyrics. I enjoyed it, like, I really enjoyed the music, it was it was really good. Um, some catchy songs as well. Yeah, I, I like the music, I like the songs. Um, the production itself is amazing, like, production value, wow, fantastic. The sets were great, everything was great. The dancing, the choreography was really cool as well. It's done by Peter Darling, who's done Billy Elliot, Matilda, and now this. And Peter Darling's got, like, a very unique style when it comes to choreography, and I really, really appreciate it. It's like everything you do in the choreography i mean i'm not a dancer but it's like everything is with the movement every movement is like completely in tune with like what you're saying it's very kind of sometimes robotic things it's very cool and i enjoyed it a lot in this um the story was lovely it was it was a nice story it was a cute story not at all what i thought it would be about because like the show is called groundhog day i don't even know what that means and i still i'm still a bit confused me and lisa were talking about it after the show like so what is actually groundhog day apparently it's something to do with the weather uh that's an american thing i would say i believe um but the show is not not at all about this it's more about two two people and i don't know it's just it's about something different i don't want to spoil it um and it was good the story was a was a nice surprise it was lovely um the two leads in it were really good i'm going to get to that in a second however i just want to say the main reason i didn't really like it much like i okay i didn't love it i liked it i didn't love it and the reason i don't think i loved it is because i just found it a bit slow at times um i found the first maybe half an hour pretty slow like i was i was quite confused to be honest i was like i don't even know what i'm watching um then like the last 45 minutes of act one got really interesting i was really enjoying it um act two again there was some bits where i was just like i don't know it's a bit too long um or maybe some scenes just dragged out a bit i don't know but even like even if i did find some scenes a bit boring there were still moments in those scenes that made me laugh and i appreciate it because it was just it was very clever I, th I thought the script was very clever the lyrics were clever so it was still really good it's just, it was just a bit slow i don't know i can't really explain it but i think that's why i didn't love it but i did like it and i'm really really glad i saw it it's not one of my favorites um but i can see why it's become so popular um and i believe it's pretty much sold out for the last two weeks of the show because it's closing soon anyway let's talk about the cast very very briefly so um the guy andy andy carl was one of that was the lead he played phil connors he was very good a great voice uh great uh stage presence his acting was great he was just a very good lead character lead actor leading man <laughs> and then the main girl was played by carlis carlis Pierre. i really hope i pronounced that right it's a really cool name actually um and she was also very good she had a lovely voice um they had really good chemistry together as well um yeah uh, they're not like i don't want to give too much away but they they did have really good chemistry it was very believable the ensemble was great everything the whole cast was great and there were some some familiar faces in the, in the ensemble like here and jay who i've seen before in billy elliott and david birch 
um, who else was in the ensemble? Andrew Langtree, who funnily enough, me and Rebecca, my friend Rebecca was talking about him the other day when we went to see Ghost because Andrew Langtree used to be in Ghost in London. He played the role of Carl in Ghost and he was fantastic. So it was, good. It was a good surprise to him. I didn't, I didn't know he was going to be in this. Um, Vicky Lee Taylor, just Carolyn Maitland, a lot of awesome people were in the ensemble. The cast was great. It was a good show, this is the programme by the way, it's only for four pounds. Four pounds is really good I think for this price, <laughs> for a programme like this. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm in a weird mood guys. Um, I'm so glad I got to see it. If you have seen it like before, if you have seen the show, leave comments down below and let me know. If you're planning on day seating, do be aware that it's very hit and miss. Like. Um, my friend Ting who works there, she did show me the, the places of where people were standing and stuff so I saw exactly where the people who were behind me in the queue would have stood and I mean if you don't mind standing that's fine but I think especially in the last two weeks there very aren't there, there aren't very many tickets available like left because the whole policy with the day seats like most theatres their day seats are like oh you just the whole of front row we sell as day seats or the whole of like the back row of the dress circle we sell as day seats. Uh, with this show they don't have like a particular row or anything that they sell as day seats. it's more like best available, whatever we have available will sell as day seats. So it's like one day you could be day seating and they could only have three tickets available uh, and the rest could be just standing. So if, you, if you're planning on doing it, get there as early as you can. Like I'm so lucky that I was sixth in the queue because honestly if I wasn't seventh I wouldn't have got it. Like I would have had to be standing and that would have been annoying because I'd have to get up at seven. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, I, I really am happy that I got to see it. It's just good to see new musicals like this, like with, you know, new scores and it was great. Like, like I said, I didn't personally love it, but it was a good show and I, I enjoyed watching it. And that's what I have to say, and my arm is hurting, so I'm going to stop this. Uh, it was lovely to see everyone tonight. Like I said, all the people that I bumped into, so random. Nice to Lisa as well as always, obviously, she knows that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It is very hot in London tonight, so I shall love you and leave you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!